If you're a student, a software engineer or a working professional and want to learn AI, then building AI agents in 2025 is, is something that can give you an edge and also boost your salary. And in this video, we are going to build an AI agent from scratch in next 20 minutes. And this is going to be the ultimate guide to your starting up with building those AI agents. Not just me, but a lot of my friends have also started building these AI agents and the process is very easy. And today we're going to explore one more platform that is agent.ai. I recently came across this platform and this is going to help you build some complex AI agents. And we are going to build a data storytelling agent where we'll give an Excel sheet or a CSV or large data sets and we'll be able to visualize that data as per our instructions. For example, if you want to have a relationship between two different CSV files or you want to have a relationship between two different columns of a CSV file, we can have that. We can also get some inference out of that chart and this is going to be super amazing. A very powerful use case for a lot of businesses out there. And if you are new to this channel, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to this channel for more such amazing videos coming out. We have already created a lot of videos in AI agent series. Make sure you check out other videos also to get an understanding of how to automate your social media, how can you build your Twitter automation or how can you extract the topmost posts from Reddit and a lot of other AI agents definitely this is a must check so we are going to build this data storytelling agent using agent.ai it's a new website that I was recently exploring and you could see a lot of things here it is it says it's a professional network for AI agents where you can build find and use AI agents and get the work done you can see there are so many featured agents like company search agent or flux image generators support ticket analyzer there's like they have a complete agent marketplace where you can buy and sell AI agents as per your own requirement you can see a lot of these uh, would help you with video script generation or web design grader or meme maker or let's say build your brand DNA recent LinkedIn post so many uh, AI agents you can see the 90 pages uh, you can search for these AI agents for example I wanted an AI agent that would help me something related to Twitter so Twitter post analyzer or Twitter user search or Twitter personality analyzer there's so many agents right and they have their agent network builder network blog and agent builder and today we're going to explore their agent builder and build something uh, that would look like a data storytelling agent let's click on get started so builder access is activated so you can click on create agent and you will see this interface wherein you can name your agent you can put in some description of your agent if there's some video demo that you can put that you want to put on how to use this agent you can do that triggers right what kind of triggers can you have you can have a manual trigger user configure scheduled enable agent via email hubspot contact added or it can be actions you can define these actions if at all like what should be the sequence of actions i'll show you an example how i have built one so you need to take a user input uh, you can uh, this is something that we do in most of the agents we take some user input or there's some trigger we get data <coughs> data can be from anywhere you can connect your instagram profile or linkedin profile or uh, twitter profile or you can uh, get some company financial profile or anything right you can also access hubspot if you're using currently hubspot currently you can add hubspot crm hubspot owners hubspot like assigned company uh, you can also use AI run process, uh, create output and advanced. So these are some of the things that you can add. These are the actions that can be added here. And you once this is done, you can click on run and you can see how your agent is running, right? So currently I have built one that is data storytelling agent. So this is uh, something, for example, we would give it a CSV file. That's a very big CSV file. And we want that it comes up with graphs, charts, and the kind of storytelling that we want from our instructions. So this is the, this is the kind of agent. So this is data storytelling agent. Uh, so this is the trigger these are the actions so right what exactly are the actions that we are going to perform so this is the sequence you can see first we need to get a csv uploaded that calls the service serverless function return in python and save to clean data we get user list with prompt and uh, with prompt and we enter the insights what you want to from that particular uh, agent right then we set the variable uh, as per the input then we loop over user ideas list and store the active item list in loop ideas i'm not i'm not sure that you would be able to understand it reading this but let's go to the actual page and try running this agent so that you get a better understanding right so so let's let's do that and later we'll come back here so this is how the storytelling agent looks like we, they, it is asking me to upload file so i'll upload a csv file that has around like 10000 uh, ka data let's click on upload files we'll select a file that is sales data we'll click on upload so 
so it is getting uploaded uh then i'll press go so we have given the sales data and we're trying to uh, tell story as in explain it in the form of a chart or a pie graph or a virtual or a visual graphic so that this data can be represented well so what kind of insights do you want for example i want these two insights i want a relation between revenue and product and i want a relationship between revenue and region so if you want to see how this looks like so if you want to see this actual csv file this looks like something like this it has date it has region it has product it has unit sold unit price and total revenue so this is this is the kind of data that you can see here and uh, if i'll scroll it down it's a data with 18000 entries right so this is something that we are going to process in our uh, data storytelling agent so i now want the relationship between revenue and product and relationship between revenue and region let's click on go and see what happens now it will ask us some specific questions related to this and we'll be able to uh, give answers to those so it is asking me to select the insights you would like to visualize from the above suggestions let's say it's comparison of unit price across uh, products or original distribution of total revenue top selling products by total revenue units sold by product region or monthly sales uh, trends across region let's say i want uh, these three comparison of unit price across products top selling products by total revenue and monthly sales trends across all regions so these are the three things that we are selecting need to click on go <coughs> let's see what happens now it's again asking <coughs> me to select columns you want to explore trends for it is it date is it region is it product unit sold the total revenue so usually i would want to see uh, the trends for product sold unit solds and total revenue so it's 54 percent completed 54 percent of the agent has already run and uh, yeah enter your business goal or kpi you want to explore in this data set for example let's say i would want to increase the revenue for product widget and b right so how does that look like i'll i've just given it a business goal or a kpi to explore in this data set it's almost even we can see what it is so it's asking me to select the ideas you want to visualize from the suggestions below trend analysis of widget b revenue over time to identify growth or decline period seasonal comparison of widget b sales and revenue yes i would want something like this correlation between sold unit and unit price for widget b monthly seasonality patterns in widget b sales comparison of widget b performance against other products and if i top performing regions for widget b to target growth opportunities this is the second one so i'll just click on go and let's see what results it is able to fetch for us so in the meantime this is getting completed let's uh, check this out so this is the trigger these are the actions that were being performed right so you can see all these actions you can modify these actions as per your want what exactly uh, do you want to change so it has successfully uh, on successful deployment the rest api endpoint will be populated below so you can see the entire flow right what is happening how it is happening <clears throat> what all things we have included here what all things we have uh, uh, uh try to build in this agent so it's 81 steps it's a big agent you can start with uh, any small agent that does a uh, smaller work but uh, this is something that is a bigger agent and i think you would get to know more about it uh once you explore the platform once you understand what it is and how you uh, start building uh things like this so you can see we have the output <clears throat> so i have this output chart so it is relationship between revenue and product so workflow is user ideas and the chart shows total revenue generated by each product revealing which product contribute most significantly to overall sales revenue so this is how the chart looks like the second chart is relationship between revenue and region uh, again the second chart shows with respect to region and total revenue north east south and west comparison of unit prices across products so this is uh, also the chart that you can see with with respect to widget a b and c and unit price and top selling products by total revenue which is the top selling product product b so sold around uh, 12 uh, 100k units and uh, 12000 k units and uh, widget a has the lowest monthly sales trend across regions right if you talk about uh, from march 2020 to september 2025 
monthly sales trends you can see as per north east south west and the revenue trends so this is also output you can see sold unit sold trend by product over time so all of this data is visually represented in front of you and this is how you can do it on any of your excel sheet and this is a very very big business use case for a lot of businesses and this ai agent by agent.ai is able to fulfill this super excited to explore the platform more understand and build more agents with agent.ai and you should also definitely check this out so if you have any doubt let me know in the comments below i'll be more than happy to answer i'll give the link to this platform in the description below go ahead check it out also there are many more videos in the ai agent playlist that i have created you can go and watch those videos also this is a part of that ai agent series let me know if you want me to create more agents on this platform i'll be super happy to make them i hope you were able to understand the platform and build that data storytelling agent and many more agents on this platform make sure you do explore if you have any doubts let me know in the comments below if you want to ask anything or if you have specific requests for any ai agent i would be more than happy to make in the next videos this is the comment box make sure you write it there and also like this video that motivates me to make more such videos for you that was it for this particular video thank you so much all the best good luck and bye